Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Charles and we are going to be taking a look at the USGS report for Friday, April 16th, 2021 that was posted at 7.44 a.m. on the Kilauea Volcano. Currently, USGS reports that lava fusion from the west vent continues to supply the lava lake within the Halemaumau crater. The west vent is consistently fusing lava at a low rate through a crusted over channel and submerged inlet to the lake. Lava circulation and intermittent foundering of the crust continue in the western portion of the lava lake with lava oozing out sporadically in areas along the perimeter of the lake. The total depth of the lake is 227 meters or 745 feet this morning as measured by a continuous laser rangefinder on the active western portion of the lake. Stagnant and solidified lava crust covers the eastern portion of the lake and is slowly growing westward. The current summit observations show that the most recent sulfur dioxide emission rates, which was measured on April 14th, was 950 tons per day. This is elevated compared to the rates in the months before the eruption started on December 20th which were less than 100 tons per day, but lower than emission rates from the pre-2018 lava lake, which were around an amazing 5,000 tons per day. Summit tilt meters recorded, recorded minor change over the past 24 hours, while seismicity remained stable with elevated tremor. Over in the East Rift Zone, the observations show that there are no unusual activity in the region. The geodetic monitors indicate that the summit and upper East Rift Zone between the summit and Puoo is refilling at rates similar to those measured over the past two years and before the December 2020 eruption. SO2 and H2S emissions from Puoo are still below instrumental detection levels when last measured on January 7th. And that pretty much does it for the Kilauea volcano. Moving on, we will take a look at the Mount Aloha volcano and the current activity there based on the USGS report, which was posted on Thursday, April 15th, 2021 at 1121 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Observations show that during the past week, HVO seismometers recorded approximately 220 small magnitude earthquakes below Mauna Loa, most concentrated below the summit and upper elevation flanks of the volcano. All of the earthquakes were less than magnitude 2.5 and occurred mostly at the depths of less than 8 kilometers or 5 miles below ground level. Global positioning systems measured or excuse me global positioning system measurements have recently shown variability in summit deformation patterns moving from contractual to slightly extensional over the past week meaning we have seen it inflate and deflate so and di events while gas concentrations are zero parts per million so2 and fumarole temperatures uh, are below 100 degrees celsius or 212 degrees fahrenheit at both the summit and the sulfur cone on the southwest rift zone continue to remain stable. And that looks like that is all the current information available for the Mauna Loa uh, volcano. And that'll pretty much do it for this quick little update from the USGS. Mahalo for watching, and you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.